long hair is a disability because it's like an antenna. If your front gets, gets messed, messed up, up when you do it to itself, itself, you feel stupid. You look stupid. There's only two ways to go about it. You could be a ball headed motherfucker or you could deal with it and have the wonderful gift of antenna. Antenna. Yesterday was all scattered like that. Scattered madness. Scattered madness. When I finally combed, because I was looking for my brush, and when I finally combed my head, it was just like, shit just cleared up immediately. I have trees. Grab me. Yank my hair. We were stuff. No problem. That river's cold, but it feels real good really fast. I don't think I don't think I'll really get in it again until the next season, and that's cool. It's so nice down there. It's so nice. If you don't bust your ass. I went out there and made my little crossing at the fence. I had to pull the the barbed wire down just a little bit lower. Just a little bit lower than where it was at because it would catch my pants and rip them. And I don't need that. I had my ass hanging out. But I had to weigh it down. I used the... Um, Fence post pounder. Gong gong. Could be a battering ram to a door. Or just is what it is. A fence post pounder. And that thing rings like a bell. Before the storm or the hurricane came. went out there and I've got a a rod in the ground but that's like the midway point <coughs> so it like relieves a lot of stress when you finally do that you take your piece of iron that you got. It's a rebar and it's thick. This one was bent like a... It had a 90 degree angle on it. We had came up from the river. One day we all went down there. A friend brought his daughter. Who was staying a little while with him. And the other little kids. And you can cut up, but it's real vertical. But tied it in. We found a spot, and that's where we all collapse to sit down for a minute. Because it's a bitch. Going up and down that motherfucker. If you go on your on your legs... I mean, you can go down there with the lawnmower and make it back up, and that's pretty nice. But having he, he's having to leave it running because I think the I don't know if it's the starter or what it is. It's kind of starting to get crappy, and that sucks because it's nice to go down there with some stuff without a full backpack of camping and. All that shit. But we 
went and checked it out yesterday because of the the fire and i stayed and got in after i saw the helicopter i was like well that'll work somebody can see it because i don't know who's out there and what they're doing we get a lot of, a lot of weird military style operations going on out here they've had drones that flattened like a circle that look like um like how crop circles look from the air pressure of the down flatten the cactuses this was about a couple years back and we're like we've gone out both woke up in the middle of the night lights out there out out the ass and you know not to go out there I've seen shit that I don't know what it is. Like three foot long indigo light just cruising. Kind of slow, but, but also kind of quick. Rotating the mist just going around it. I have no idea what the fuck that was. Never seen anything like it. I don't know if it's our shit, if it's alien shit. I don't fucking even know. There's certain times when it's weird and it gets weirder. And that's just the way it's always been on here. You kind of get a sense of when not to fuck around. But it's your place. Yeah, I know. It's not like, if you think somebody's out there stealing something, rummaging, you'll go out there and shoot somebody. But when it's military, or whatever the fuck, no, I ain't doing it. I'm not fucking doing that shit. You know. You know. So, we've had weird going on. Out here, quite a while. You get used to it, but I got a feeling it's about to get weird again. I just got that B knowing. I can go out there in the dark since I don't know. Maybe it's because it's my own environment and I know it. Just moving and hearing the sounds, I can see. I don't know how to explain it, but I can. And I went all around the house in the dark like that the other day just to go get around my basic perimeter, you know, and these forks, 528, 432, I'm telling you, you can do a lot with those two forks, and they don't break. All the other ones shattered. They shatter, and usually it's not even nothing. That seems like it will do it. I just think it's certain frequencies just don't don't last. They don't stand. Four thirty two and five twenty eight does. I've had that five twenty eight for quite a while, and then like a year after it survived, I got four thirty two, and it's still. It's still good. It's still working. And the angel ones. I have two of those. Came with three. They are real high frequency. But they good. They good to use. For the area around. What is outside of your. Your bubble.
you knock out the monsters, knocks them out. Got no poltergeist fucking with me. No weird phenomenon. And I tell you, you can nearly fly. I say low earth orbit. Of course, I'm a little funny. I'm telling you, it's like somehow using the environment. Like if you get vines or trees and weave them together. You get a similar thing begin to happen. Start growing passageway. He makes passageways into the woods. And that's really cool. If you've got a nice environment to do that, do it. But stay in relationship with nature. Because nature will always add to you what you need to make it.